but we have to deal with the rain gear and also some sweaters and jackets because it's yeah, cooler out sweaters. there. Yes, you know, for uh, for us, this is sweater weather because certainly is cooler in comparison to the past few days. And there you see the misty, foggy conditions. I was just out there for a little bit during my break, and I noticed that that drizzle, you know, that light shower activity that you just have to, you know, open up the umbrella and walk through it, and you'll be fine. As we look from our Key West camera, it's also cloudy. The cameras are shaking. The breeze is cranking, and we're seeing some showers around Oakland Park, Lauder Hill, Lighthouse Point. At least these showers are light, and we're also seeing some showers around Key Biscayne, as well as Tamiami Kendall, Cutler Bay, and down near Homestead and Oranja. And across the, up the Keys, we're seeing some scattered showers. The wind right now sustained 13 to 21 miles an hour. Gusts as high as 29 miles an hour. It is blustery out there. Wind advisory has been issued through tomorrow morning because of the fact that we have these strong northeast winds. Gusts as high as 25 to 35 miles an hour. Temperature is creeping up a little bit to 70 in Miami and Pompano Beach. Upper 60s in Fort Lauderdale, Kendall and Homestead. Even down through the Keys, it's nice and cool. We are seeing the 70s around Central Florida, but yet the 50s for Gainesville and Tallahassee. And then you see 20s and 30s for the northern tier of the U.S., 40s and 50s through the central and southern portions of the country, 50s on the west coast, 40s and 30s in the Pacific Northwest, dealing with the storm system there, but it's relatively quiet for the central and eastern half of the U.S. under an influence of high pressure, which is part of the reason we're dealing with that tight pressure gradient leading to the windy weather today and also some of the wet weather as those showers are riding in on that northeast breeze, so temperatures hovering right around 70. A few areas could hit 71. Once again, warning you that we have a small craft advisory. Gale watch going in effect tonight and a dangerous high risk of rip currents at the beach. Either way, it's really not a day to be out on the beach and not safe to be swimming or on the water boating tonight. Chilly breeze, scattered showers, upper 60s. And here's the problem. We still have lingering moisture as we get into Friday, Saturday, especially on Sunday. We could see some gusty storms, but then it looks drier and more beautiful next Tuesday and Wednesday.